The film opens with a scene where several terrorists capture a French journalist and take him into a cave. As soon as they arrive, they lock the journalist, a secret agent in disguise, in a cell. Unexpectedly, the journalist is a secret agent in disguise. The journalist is Adam Franco, a ruthless and sadistic spy. This time, Adam is assigned to free a reporter named Sonia. Skillfully, Adam frees himself. Shortly after, a terrorist comes to Adam's cell with water. However, suddenly, Adam kills him with a single stab. Adam incapacitates two other terrorists and disarms them, creating chaos and initiating a shootout in the cave. He eventually kills all the terrorists. Adam's mission does not stop here. He has two missions to destroy the terrorist leader and also to kill Sonia, not to save her. As a loyal agent, Adam shoots her without hesitation. After completing the mission, the secret agent relaxes. Adam loves tobacco. He chooses to relax while smoking, not vaping like young people nowadays. Meanwhile, a series of bomb attacks rocks France. Senator Marconet receives this news. He is the French Minister of Security responsible for the country's security. According to the news on television, the mastermind behind the bombings is Mokhtar al tayeb a warlord from Sudan. Mokhtar has connections with the most powerful mafia in France, Victor Pastor. Marconet, acting swiftly to address the situation, commands his subordinate, Kruger, to resolve the issue. Kruger, without hesitation, opts to dispatch his top agent, Adam Franco, to infiltrate Victor's residence. In a different scene, Adam is in Tunisia. While eating, he sees a news broadcast on television about Sonia's disappearance. In short, Adam eventually receives the code order to return to France. Without much thought, he immediately flies to his homeland. Upon arriving in France, Adam goes to an apartment that will be his residence. There, he meets with Kruger to discuss the next mission. Kruger provides documents about Mokhtar and Victor. However, Adam only targets Mokhtar using Victor as bait. The Mafia, having been involved in drug trafficking, maintains a friendship with Mukhtar. The Mafia has been friends with Mukhtar since they were involved in drug trafficking. Thus, he will be the perfect bait. Adam's first task is to disguise himself as a new worker at Victor's house. He must gather as much information as possible until he locates Mukhtar. However, Adam will need help to carry out the mission. Kruger has also sent agents Sisko and Mona to assist Adam from the outside. After hearing Kruger's explanation, Adam's mission officially begins. The next day, a company hired Adam, who started working at the same place as Karim. Yusuf, Victor's assistant and trusted person, welcomed him. Yusuf took Adam and Karim on a tour, providing explanations. During the tour, Yusuf introduced Adam to Manu, JB, and Bogdan, who are loyal and obedient subordinates of Victor. On the other hand, Victor, while in a meeting and on an infusion drip, immediately removed his tube when Shark entered the room. Shark suddenly requested leave, so he brought Adam to replace him. Victor eventually accepted Jack's request. Meanwhile, Adam was asked by Victor's subordinates what the reason was for Jacques choosing him. Then Adam answered that Victor needed protection. This answer immediately offended Bogdan because Bogdan is the number one guard. The two then got into a fight. However, Adam could make Bogdan fall and lose with just one punch. Victor eventually heard this disturbance. The evil mafia then immediately reprimanded Adam afterwards. He ordered his subordinate P. Wheat to take Adam to work elsewhere. In a different scene, Shakt had just arrived at his house, but was immediately held at gunpoint by Sisko, and his child had been held hostage by Mona. It turns out Kruger trapped Shakt so Adam could infiltrate Victor's house. And to leave no trace, Sisko and Mona had to drug Shakt and his child, then hide them. After securing Jacques and his child, Mona and Sisko returned to their car. Mona and Sisko monitored all of Victor and Mushtar's movements in the vehicle. They were tapping phones. When a call came in, they would track its sound. After doing a voice analysis, it turns out the person calling Victor was Mushtar. Mushtar is now in France, and no one has tracked his whereabouts at all so far. The scene now shifts to when Adam and Pee Wee are on a mission. The two were trying to collect information about a bank Victor's gang plan to rob. 
During this mission, Pee-wee faced a life-threatening situation. Pee-wee was pointed at with a gun by the Mafia. Adam acted with brutal strength and reckless courage, saving Pee-wee. This made Adam gain complete trust from Pee-wee. In this scene, Pee-wee, trusting Adam, invites him for a drink. Surprisingly, Natalia, Victor's wife, owns the place they visit. Outside the club, a disturbance breaks out, instigated by Amit's underlings, known to be adversaries of Victor. This leads to a confrontation in the nightclub area. The turmoil inside the nightclub provokes Natalia's anger, resulting in a heated exchange with her husband, Victor. While Adam was preparing to take Jonathan, Victor's youngest son, to school, Helene, Victor's eldest daughter, approached him. She stopped Adam from taking Jonathan and invited him to play with her instead. A new fact emerged. Helene had always disliked her father's environment, so she decided to take Jonathan with her. Since he didn't take Jonathan to school, Adam chose to rest in his apartment. However, he received a call from Victor. Before entering Victor's house, Adam took the time to attach a tracker to one of Victor's cars. He then met Victor in his room. Seeing Adam, Victor looked very impressed. He also thanked Adam for his excellent work. Therefore, Victor accepted Adam as part of his organization. While Adam was picking up Jonathan from his school, he saw a classmate bullying Jonathan. Seeing this, Adam approached the bully and then flicked his nose. However, even though he defended Jonathan, Adam still couldn't be trusted by Helen. The girl, again, forcibly took her brother. While fetching her brother's belongings from the car, she saw Adam's file. Curious, Helen stole the file. Helen was shocked when she found out that Adam had been killing since he was 15 years old. At that time, Adam shot dead a member of the parliament who had killed his sister. Reportedly, his sister was a victim of abuse. That night, while guarding the nightclub owned by Victor's wife, Adam saw Natalia talking with Amit's subordinates. In a separate place, Mochtar dreamt about his wife's death, which occurred when Marconet accused him of terrorism. Additionally, someone shot his little daughter. Since that incident, Mochtar has transformed into a terrifying figure, harboring a grudge against Marconet and the French government. A while later, Piwe, who became Mochtar's brother, visited Mochtar. The two then discussed and planned their operation. In a separate place, Natalia was celebrating Jonathan's birthday. However, as a mother, Natalia was busy with herself, making Jonathan feel lonely. Fortunately, Adam arrived just in time and brought a gift containing a punching bag. Unlike the past incidents, Adam decided to train Jonathan in boxing to defend himself against bullies at school. That afternoon, Pee Wee invited Adam to carry out a robbery, which would be the most challenging job. However, before that, Adam decided to tap Victor's room. Victor discovered Adam's action. Adam panicked. Fortunately, Jonathan appeared and said that he and Adam were playing together. However, Adam did not want to take risks and eventually, he unplugged one of the taps so as not to be detected. Victor then called Mochtar and said that the robbery would soon begin. Later, they will give some of the money to the terrorists. From a distance, Sisko and Mona immediately rushed to follow Victor's subordinates. Upon their arrival at the bank, Pee-wee and friends immediately enter, assigning Adam the task of guarding the car and commencing the robbery. After completing the theft, they promptly return to Victor's house. However, members of Amit's gang suddenly rammed them. Seeing the incident, Sisko immediately helped Adam. A shootout occurred on the streets. The mafia were involved in a gunfight with each other. Fortunately, Adam could slaughter Amit's men with his high-level shooting skills. In another place, Minister Markinet ordered Kruger once more to carry out his mission. Kruger then vowed to eliminate Mujta Altayep swiftly. At Victor's house, they shared the robbery proceeds, and Pee-wee received a portion of the money to assist in meeting Mujta's needs. Here, Adam was sure that Pee-wee was close to the terrorist. However, before tailing Pee-wee, he met with Natalia first. Adam instructed her and Jonathan to leave immediately because, sooner or later, Victor would find out that his wife had collaborated with Amit to thwart the robbery. While Adam needed Pee-wee, Natalia received a call from Amit. Amit felt betrayed by Natalia, so he kidnapped Helen and Jonathan. 
Then, to save her son, Natalia had to convince Victor to hand over the stolen money. However, she failed to persuade Victor. Victor refused to redeem his son with money as it was against his principles. Hearing this, Natalia was furious. She thought Victor didn't care about Jonathan because he wasn't his biological child. Secretly, Helen acted quickly by contacting Adam. She knew that he would help Jonathan. For this reason, Adam was willing to abandon his mission to free Jonathan. He also took Sisko's weapons to attack Emmett's headquarters. Meanwhile, Sisko had to stay alert until Mochtar appeared. While Adam was away, Sisko spotted Mochtar, then Sisko followed Mochtar. But misfortune struck. Peewee, who was trying to protect his brother, killed Sisko. On the other hand, Adam had arrived at Amit's headquarters, but the security was very tight, so Adam had to disguise himself as an addict after successfully entering. Adam pretended to buy drugs. Then, the secret agent killed one guard so he could go up to Amit's room. When he reached the upper floor, Adam resumed action by killing Amit's members one by one. However, the sound of Adam's gunfire attracted dozens of other mafias. A long shootout ensued. Finally, Adam kills them all and saves Jonathan, then immediately takes Jonathan to his house. But upon arriving at home, Adam fainted. While unconscious, Adam then dreamed about his past when Kruger recruited him to become a secret agent, and thanks to that dream, he finally woke up. Adam realized that his mission was not over yet. Helen then persuaded Adam to rest, but he did not want to waste more time. On the other hand, Mochtar was standing in front of Markinet's house and intimidated him with a secret envelope. Meanwhile, Adam visited the location where Sisko monitored Mochtar. There, Adam checked the CCTV. He saw Mochtar leaving on the CCTV, and he was very sure that he had killed Sisko, especially since he couldn't contact the agent because he missed Mochtar. Adam blamed himself. A while later, the police came to the location because there was a report from the residents, but after Adam mentioned his secret code, the police did not arrest him. Unbeknownst to Adam, the person who called the police was Yusuf. Yusuf trusted his instincts that Adam was a secret agent. When he returned to his apartment, Adam was surprised by the figure of Helen in his apartment. The girl looked worried because the wound in Adam's stomach was getting worse. Helen then brought him medicine and took care of Adam. In a different location, Mona needed clarification because she couldn't contact any of her team members. But then she overheard a conversation between Yusef and Manu. They said Victor already knew that his wife was a traitor. Not only that, Yusef also invited his friends to kill Adam. Markinet called Kruger again, informing him that Mochtar had threatened him with old documents from when they were friends. The government would punish both Markinet and Kruger if those documents were leaked, Markinet said. The scene shifts to the front of Adam's apartment where Yusef and his friends are preparing to kill Adam. Fortunately, Mona arrived just in time. Pretending to borrow a lighter, Mona shot Yusef and his friends. Although she was shot in the neck and dying, Mona still managed to tell Adam that his cover was blown. After hearing this, Adam hurriedly tracked down Peewee. Upon arriving at the tracking point, Adam immediately entered the former hospital building where Mokhtar and Peewee prayed together. Without wasting time, Adam decided to shoot Mokhtar in the leg. Here, we uncovered an interesting fact. It turns out that Mochtar was not a terrorist. Mochtar came to France at the government's invitation, but Markinet and Kruger were labeling him a radical. Here, Mochtar was waiting for his daughter's operation, who was still in a coma due to a French soldier's shooting. After listening to Mochtar's explanation, Adam felt somewhat moved. He allowed him to accompany his beloved daughter. Unfortunately, Kruger's troops suddenly arrived and shot Mochtar to death. Finally, a shootout occurred between Adam and his colleagues. Adam chose to defend Peewee because he was innocent. The two of them then took Mochtar's child to a safe place. Then they divided tasks. Peewee would distract the soldiers so Adam could attack them more easily. And while there was a shootout, Peewee put Mochtar's child in an ambulance, and they managed to escape. Meanwhile, Victor killed his wife, and then Kruger shot him. At the same time, Minister Markinet panicked because someone had leaked his old friendship with Mushtar. Peewee and his nephew managed to escape from France. 
Kruger followed Helen onto a bus. Someone ordered him to massacre Victor's family, including Helen and Jonathan. However, Adam prevented him and Kruger died. The film then ends.